पॉइंट्स आपके पास हो गई आप पिग इंसर्ट कर लेते हैं और इस पे डोरी केंच लेते हैं ठीक है जी और इस पे चूना डाल लेते हैं आप ये देख ले आप कि ये आपकी एक लाइन बेस लाइन हो गई यहाँ तक बात समझ आ गई मेरी यहाँ तक समझ आ गई आपको अब उस पॉइंट पे चल जाए yes, बेस लाइन हमारे पास बेस लाइन की हमारे पास पेग इंसर्शन हो गई ठीक है जी एंड नाउ स्ट्रिंग इज स्ट्रिच इन बिटवीन दिम बिकॉज स्ट्रिंग गिव यू द स्ट्रेटनेस ऑफ द लाइन स्ट्रिंग जो है डोरी जो है वो किस चीज पे किस जाती है तो वो तो स्ट्रेटनेस आपको देती है ठीक है जी आप उसको स्ट्रिंग को यू स्ट्रिच द स्ट्रिंग तो इट्स गिव यू स्ट्रेटनेस तो दैट्स व्हाई वी कंस्ट्रक्ट वॉल बाय स्ट्रेचिंग द स्ट्रिंग्स एट द फर्स्ट सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट लेवल वी मूव बिकॉज इट्स गिव यू द स्ट्रेटनेस ऑफ द लाइन सो यू इंजर्ट दिस पिक दिस पिक and now is uh, a stretch a string in between them so you will be you will come it's according it's straightness that way that they are straight or they are not straight let's suppose if you are uh, stretching the string between this point and this point automatically you will come to know that whether this point is lying in the line in the line with this string is dori ke beech mein se aa rahi hai ke nahi is dori ke beech mein se nahi aa rahi <coughs> Now you are going to the baseline आपके साथ हो गया चले बेसलाइन से तो ये डिस्टेंस आप मालूम कर सकते हैं लेट सपोज यू आर नाउ गोइंग बेसलाइन यू एग्जीक्यूटेड मेड द ले आउट ऑफ दिट और इस पर आप छूना डाल लेते हैं हम छूना स्ट्रेंथ के लिए फिर उसके ऊपर छूना डाल लेते हैं कि भाई जो हमें परमानेंट मार्क मिल जाए ऑन द सॉइल ऑन द ग्राउंड ओके वट मीन्स बाई थ्री फोर फाइव मेथड मीन्स फ्रॉम दिस कार्नर बेसलाइन If you you let suppose by string method by string you hold a string with the pick from this point and uh, stretch it so it will give you the uh, um, uh, it will give you this line but how you will come to know that whether this line or this building line is exactly perpendicular to this base line. ठीक है जी एग्जेक्टली परपेंडिकुलर टू दिस लाइन दिस इज दिस इज व्हाट्स आई से द बेसिक लेआउट मेथड टू नाउ दिस दिस वी हैव इन टेटोलाइट जस्ट वी मेंशन द बिल्डिंग कॉर्नर्स एंड ईच एंड एवरी कॉर्नर ऑफ द बिल्डिंग इजीली बाय एडजस्टिंग इट्स कोऑर्डिनेट्स कोऑर्डिनेट्स हमारे पास हम एक चीज की फिट कर लेते हैं उसमें ऑटोमेटिकली डिस्टेंस हमारे पास उसको कैलकुलेट हो जाती है और हमें एक एक पॉइंट मिल जाते हैं लेकिन एनीवे फॉर नॉर्मल लेआउट फॉर एज इंजीनियर इफ यू आर चेकिंग द लेआउट चलिए उसकी बात सो यू होल्ड द स्ट्रिंग विद दैट एंड मेक इट स्ट्रेट एट एज पर योर माइंड ओके नाउ व्हाट यू डू यू मार्क फ्रॉम द मयरिंग टेप यू मार्क 3 फुट हियर यू प्लेस यू मार्क इट okay are you insert a pick then go to that point corner point back and take four foot distance along this base line okay what you did you did from here three foot you mark one point at the ground yeah are you inserted a pick and this point you mark a point at this level You inserted a pig here, mark point. Now, from this mark and this mark, straight measuring tape, you measure the distance from this mark to this mark. Okay. So, if you stretch draw three feet from here, four feet from here. So, if this angle is perfectly ninety, okay. If this angle is perfectly ninety, so this this the distance. Between this point, which you mark four feet apart from this corner, and which you mark three feet uh, the, the, this point, so this will give you perfectly five feet in between. If it is not five feet, so it means that the corner angle is not perfectly ninety because the Pythagoras theorem is not verified. If you take three square plus four square, so four square sixteen. Plus three square, uh, so plus nine. So under root uh, uh, sixteen plus nine twenty five. Under root twenty five, it comes out to be five. If you have base three feet, if you have vertical four feet, so the diagonal should be must be in case of ninety degree angle, it must be five feet. Okay. So if the five feet are, so then you have to change the strings 
to change the line according according ad, accordingly and to adjust that five where the five feet is adjusted. So then you will again measure horizontal distance. Uh, this distance, if it is disturbed, uh, vertical point distance, and uh, re measure the diagonal in between them. It is perfectly as per Pythagoras theorem three four five. Uh, it's uh, actually the Pythagoras theorem. So you should mark. It means that your this line you mark that will be uh, perpendicular to this baseline. Okay, perpendicular to, to their, their baseline. Uh, the same you will do for this. With this base, you will mark one point over here, one point over here, and then according to Pythagoras theorem, you measure its length. And the same is for this corner. So each corner, you check the verticality of that. जिसको हम पुश्तों में गुनिया कहते हैं, ठीक है जी? और उर्दू में भी इसको गुनिया ही कहा जाता है। तो भी में हम गुनिया करते हैं कि ये कहीं पर इसमें कहीं बदगुनिया तो इसमें नहीं है कहीं इस पर मतलब है कि कोई ऐसी चीज तो नहीं है कि कॉर्नर जो है वो परपेंडिकुलर तो नहीं समझ रहे हैं आप मेरी बात समझ गए इस पॉइंट ये पॉइंट समझ गए थ्री फोर फाइव करूल समझ गए यस सर यस सर ओके लोकेशन सेंटर लाइंस ऑफ ऑल फाउंडेशंस आर मार्क दिन यू चेक आउट बाय कंपेयरिंग द डायंगल लेट सपोज हाउ लेट सपोज यू कन मेड ओवर ऑल दिस यू प्लेस दिस लेआउट आपने यहां पर चूना डाल दिया ओके नाउ हाउ यू विल चेक दैट दिस विल दिस इज परफेक्टली A rectangle are perfectly square, so all the corners are uh, uh, 90 degrees. So it's uh, the check is very easy. You just measure this diagonal, this diagonal, and measure this diagonal. You can do in your home. एक कमरे का एक diagonal और उसी का दूसरा diagonal. So if these both diagonals are okay like this, see it over here. One diagonal is this and another is this diagonal. So if these both diagonals are equal, so if these both diagonals are equal, so it means that all the corners are at 90 degree. <coughs> Sometimes masonry pillars are installed over there for permanent uh, insertion. ताकि हमें proper पता चले कि ये exact points हैं. After setting, otherwise, if you lost one of the point or in two point, one or either corner point, so then you have to make the layout uh, again. After setting out excavation, a foundation is made manually or mechanically using excavator. The excavated material should be dumped sufficiently away from the trenches. Trench is what it means. The excavation in portion that is called trench. So if you you have to place the excavated material uh, far away from that trench, otherwise if you excavate it while concreting while working, so that excavation will move again. Again they will fall into the trenches. a uh, proper protection shall be made to avoid water flowing into the trenches from the nearby drains yes when you excavate our foundation uh, 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 your house foundation you definitely would avoid that the underneath uh, even nearby the drain water may not uh, be passing through you have to to make the protection from that uh, that penetrate enter to the foundation The excavated trenches should retain their shapes. Okay, in case of sandy soil, it's very difficult okay, that you excavate the trench. So from the side, there is refill again. Uh, if there is loose sand or if there is fine sand, so they move. Uh, uh, there are refills. So that is, that is very difficult job. Then, and then you have to give a proper. Uh, Support to the foundation that the surrounding soil may not fall into the trenches. Otherwise, you will have to re-excavate, re-excavate time and again. 
in case of loose soil uh, and large dip, dip sides must be supported temporarily temporarily we supported we placed wood belt and some us pe lakdi ke takte wagaira ya wood belt and some usko de dete next pictures mein aapko dikhai de denge to for to support the excavated portion ki excavated portion ke upar gir na jaye theek hai ji base of the foundation trench shall be properly level before starting concrete work yes hum isko uh, level kar lete hain aur fir hum ek leveling layer complete ki dal lete hain jise hum 148 kehte hain we say it 148 that is as a leveling layer we place it is almost 3 inch for leveling of the concrete and for protect protection of the um, foundation steel from corrosion or uh, any external sulfate attack etc <coughs> shoring shoring where it's called shoring shoring means uh you are providing temporary firm work to support the uh, the surrounding soil when your foundation is done you remove that okay that is called temporary shoring you are in building if you are removing wall or you are inserting a wall you are doing something so you give support to the roof okay to the slab so you are so that is called shoring temporary shoring means it can be removable so there are wooden planks wooden planks and they are connected by wood batten so they are provided temporarily <coughs> so that uh, so that the uh, surrounding soil may not fall down even if there are nearby houses so that uh, if you excavate the soil near someone's house and if it's having uh, uh, it having no proper foundation so then it may go down and uh, may settle the same is happening in the in interior city of peshawar a uh, shoring in foundation trenches consists of poling board uh struts what it means did they just call strut horizontal compression member is uh, struts these are polling boards you can say it these are sheets in between uh, the for excavation support sheeting are horizontal planks these are horizontal planks plank ka kya matlab hai takhte hote hain lakdi ke takhte hote hain ye vertical ek kisam ki column ki hum kuch to isko kade bolte hain aur exit wooden member hote to support and these are horizontal support same is uh, for the purpose temporary support and the type of soil two types of shoring are normally using used the one is called uh, this is for the time if you are giving if you are going to excavate and you have to start working after some time so then <coughs> you need to brace it at least one is called step bracing one is called box bracing in uh, step bracing this method of shoring is for the firm soil so shallow depth up to 2 meter 3 meter this method poling boards these poling boards are installed at the surrounding so that the soil may not uh, collapse down to uh, the foundation or the soil from the surrounding may not fail to so, uh, the foundation so you use this these vertical poling boards and you support it by the struts from this side from the excavated portion so these are uh, given it's which, which is very normal method so for the to support this soil uh poling boards are usually placed at 3 to 4 feet depending on the uh, soil uh, depend on soil nature हम उस पर को अपने अंदाजे के मुताबिक दो से चार पाँच फुट तक हम देखने के साइल अगर बीच में से कोई लूज पॉकेट्स है तो वी प्रोवाइड दिस पोलिंग बोर्ड एट दैट पॉइंट सिंगल स्ट्रट एट द सेंटर ऑफ टू आर टू स्ट्रट एट ईच पेयर ऑफ पोलिंग बोर्ड डिपेंडिंग ऑन द साइल हाइट सो यू कैन यूज वन स्ट्रट आर यू कैन यूज डबल स्ट्रट डिपेंडिंग अगर साइल एक्टिव है तो ऐसे ना कि एक स्ट्रट जो है इसको तोड़ दे तो हम डबल स्ट्रट इस्तेमाल करते हैं ठीक है डबल स्ट्रटिंग बॉक्स ब्रेसिंग 
in this method of shoring is used for loose to moder moderately firm soil. Depth is more than 2 meter but less than 4 meter. Uh, you are going for um, six feet up to six feet uh, but you are but not more than 12 feet you are going so then you have this temporary shoring this vertical bracing this is called uh, box bracing both the walls are braced down this this one portion wall outside wall and this inner side wall is braced uh, against each other for the purpose so that the forces is taken by these struts so that the soil may retain on its position in this book, method, a box is made by using sheeting and pulling boards and struts in different arrangements, just like the vertical pulling boards are there, then horizontally uh, one pulling board, and they are, are either there are sheets in between them, pulling boards are at the top, and they are joined by strut. There are different mechanisms. Sheets may be provided horizontally or vertically. Up to the horizontally, we can take it vertically. We can take it. Laying out of footing concrete. Before laying out concrete, uh, lay, lay out of footing concrete, first you have to level the excavation bed. Then you have to put a lean concrete that is normally three inches over here. And normally in our area where there is solid effect, so they can be more than three inches, up to four inches, five inches. It is kept out in correct area. And uh, in our areas, Mardan, Peshawar, Sawabi, so they it will use three inch uh, are enough to uh, for that. Before laying up the concrete, the bed of excavated trench is leveled, rammed, and sprinkled with water. Then three to four inch thick lean concrete is poured in the trench against the side surface. After a curing period of two to three days, vertical farm work is. Uh, provided and footing concrete that is called footing concrete so uh, sometimes reinforced concrete so we have we, have, we provide an enforcement over here then we put concrete uh, foundation concrete is uh, carried out is poured care should be taken not to pour footing concrete against the soil surface by use soil surface ke upar aap concrete nahi dalenge achhi concrete jo hai us soil surface ko banne uske liye pehle ek lean concrete provide karenge that is lean concrete is provided then you pour foundation concrete on that the base of lean concrete you would see anywhere the foundation section you will definitely see that one for add section is there excavation of foundation for basement uh, excavation for foundation may or may not require temporary support depending upon the depth of excavation, type of excavated soil. If you have hard soil, so there is no need of uh, any support, any bracing. If the surrounding person, if you were never having already excavated its basement, so then there is no problem for you. For you. <laughs> In case of loose soil then there is a problem you would have to provide temporary supports uh, depth of excavation type of excavated soil if it is loose sand soil you definitely you will need bracing temporary shoring over there because when you will excavate after some time it will be refilled down so uh, that it depends on the type of soil usually excavation for basement is done mechanically using excavator side of the excavation trenches cannot be retained by supporting them against each other is the trench is in the trench of foundation foundation trench is almost three feet four feet five feet wide so they can be braced against each other which we already saw in this picture but uh, in case of full basement excavation like that, so then it's difficult to be the, to, uh, to be retained. <laughs> uh, sides of excavation trenches cannot be retained. Support them against each other as in trenches of foundation. Too much na bada bracing so per mas la hota hai nee recently. Sides of excavation trench can be prevented by stability of slope. Yes, you made it natural slope just like roadway slope just around time one ratio two slope so you can made it in slope so it will be stable or by using pile or shoring with or without anchors uh, by providing retaining walls these are three different uh, types of uh, strategies discussed over here let me discuss it one by one 
stability of slope let's suppose if you are excavating you know that if the, in this case soil is harder so it can retain itself no problem for that so let's suppose in this case if you have higher depth so you know that up to this much soil is okay but more overburden soil can uh, can lose on the soil can they can collapse each other just like in brt excavation they excavated the underneath soil, but they feel that the soil on the, side, on the sides of the road is uh, hard and compacted, so they didn't need any supporting. Just they carried out its retaining wall, or the excavation can be moved up for at least one or two months. That excavation was still over there, but uh, after some time, it was removed and cleaned, uh, and then. The retaining walls are placed at the site. So you can do it if the soil is soil is unstable. You can make it um, in a slope shape. Uh, this method is suitable when enough, but when enough space is available. Otherwise, you uh, you will be entering into someone else's property. Uh, slope depends on the type of soil. Surcharge weight. Surcharge means the over extra and over weight. This is the over weight of the soil. Let's suppose this is the vertical excavation. So this is the inclined surcharge. Okay, so they excavated vertical excavation kar di, or uske baat koi temporary uske liye koi shoring magara nahi di. Because the soil was compacted from years and years, soil was compacted, and uh, uh, there was no new soil encountered over there. So that was stable soil, but uh, in case of there the soil is not stable, so you have to ca carry out the excavation like that. That is self-stable when you make it slope, so it is self-stable. So, uh, but this depends on the soil and the area available. If you have surrounding area available, so then you can do it. But if there is no single foot available uh, all around the building, so then you can't go for that. This depends on the type of soil and the surcharge weight on the slope. For loose soil, uh, for loose, for compacted soil, it's normally one ratio two slope. One ratio two slope means one vertical and two horizontal. So it uh, covers a lot. One ratio one slope is there. One ratio one slope, you can do it. But uh, it's um, it requires lots lot of area. So this is uh, practically not feasible in our areas. What we do for going to three to five basement? If we are going to for five basement basement excavation uh, in Peshawar city, in central city, where you have high rise buildings over there, and in two high rise buildings were there, in between them there is uh, let's suppose you have a building a plot, and you are going for three basements, and your neighbors having just one basement. So then, what you will do? You can't excavate because you the dear buildings might be in danger due to your excavation. Then first you will what you will do you will do before excavation you will insert there is a concept of sheet piling. You will in in, <coughs> in Lahore it's very common in Peshawar now it's common. Uh, so sheet piling are carried out piles are automatic piles are carried out in this manner. See it. These are piles inserted before excavation, and they, these piles having depth more than the required depth. Let's suppose you have you people having three. You are going to excavate three basement, triple basement. So for triple basement, you will leave 36 feet to 40 feet area depth at least. So they are these piles are sheet piles are designed for 50 to 60 feet more than their excavation. So they are first inserted at the site. When these sheet piles are, that is called anchor piles, sheet piles, there are so many uh, other uh, methods uh, for these piles. Some piles are uh, taken by for, uh, reinforcement, heavy reinforcement is given that the excavation, that the surrounding buildings may not be uh, the surrounding soil may not be failed and the surrounding buildings may not be in danger. So these when these piles are constructed all around the building, then the excavation starts. So in which these activities they will affect the surrounding buildings. Uh, they just called contiguous piles are provided 
contiguous while are provided at, at the perimeter of the excavation trend. Depth of shoring pile is more than minister. Depth of shoring pile is more than the depth of excavation trench, so there the pile could retain the soil after excavation. So these pile piles are retaining the surrounding soil of the building, including the building loads from the surrounding portions, etc. <coughs> these pile can be supported by anchors. Anchors, let's suppose you have this pile. pile and you installed an anchor in front of the ray and anchor beyond uh, uh, deep uh, inside another uh, below another buildings so that's anchor so that anchor helps to reduce the reinforcement of this vertical pile because this vertical pile now you are going to excavate in front you are removing 36 feet soil and the 36 feet soil behind uh, which is retained on the side so, uh, which is uh, let's suppose you are going 36 feet uh, down so there 36 feet you are removing so from the surrounding surrounding sides are 36 feet high and the, uh, you are at the basement triple basement you excavated so though the pressure including the building weight etc that is taken by this pile so these piles need high reinforcement so sometimes to avoid reinforcement we provide we provide anchors to the back so anchors are provided <coughs> it can't support anchors. In case of, uh, uh, let's suppose if you have nearby building and uh, uh, sheet piling, piling, continuous piling or anchor piles, they are having a very high cost. So you are avoiding, let's suppose you are avoiding the cost is So uh, what you will be doing? You will be doing, and you have. Let's suppose this is you are going. This is uh, existing some someone's building, and you are going to excavate this portion. So then, what you will do? You will do the uh, portion uh, in uh, uh, retaining wall before excavation. So retaining wall, you are definitely providing at the surrounding. But uh, retaining wall will work when it is constructed. But what will you will do for excavation of retaining wall and for uh, retaining of the surrounding soil? Agar aap excavation kisi ki karib karna chahte hain, excavation kar lenge to retaining wall to aap sambhal lenge to baad mein sambhal lena. Lekin agar aap retaining wall wall ke liye excavation kar rahe hain, if you are going for retaining wall excavation, to aisa na ho ke karib wali building gir jaye ya uska buniyad bilkul hawa mein reh jaye ya if it rains so rain ki wajah se जो है मोयसर जो है वो कहीं पर इंसान वो और मसला ना करे करे अक्सर एक सड़ाई होता है हमारे इलाकों में कि भाई जब एक करीब बिल्डिंग की जिसकी फाउंडेशन इतनी प्रॉपर नहीं हो हम करीब से एक्सकेवेशन कर लेते फाउंडेशन के लिए तो उस बिल्डिंग में क्रैक्स वगैरह प्रॉब्लम्स क्रिएट हो जाती है और काफी मसले मसाइल और कोर्ट केसेज इस पे चलते हैं so to avoid these problems let's suppose you have nearby you have a building adjacent you have a building so one more important is that if you have to give some <coughs> Sorry, the most important is that you do that building. But uh, land is very cost uh, costly and very precious land you have. So then you definitely you would be going for. Uh, mm, you will uh, never allow. Nobody allows that even an inch uh, of space. So then you have to go staging construction. What it means by staging retaining wall? Staging retaining wall means you have excavated, let's suppose, alternate portion. You excavated this portion. You excavated this portion. You excavated this portion where A is written. You excavated this portion simultaneously. Then you excavated. Uh, uh, so you install a retaining wall at that portion. This portion is retain, retaining wall. This portion, uh, this portion, this portion retaining wall is uh, then. Uh, it, it is uh, done at this point. Uh, another, it is done for this wall. It is done for this wall. It is done for this point. So these all retaining walls are installed. Then you, uh, when retaining walls are installed there, so then you started this excavation, this excavation, this alternate excavation, this alternate excavation, this excavation, and this excavation. 
let's suppose you install there then you go for c then you go for d so at this staging uh, you will complete your complete work without disturbing the surrounding person <coughs> the surrounding person so uh, this was all about le uh, lecture number four and now uh, you people are allowed uh, if you have any questions that we will make a discussion on that sir sir jab hum book utate hain bcd ke to usme bahut sare lecture jo matlab topics hai bahut sare hum usme se thoda sa portion pad lete hain ye baat bhi cheeze hum kaha sikhenge kaun se wala जो भी बुक है सर या अरोरा और गुप्ता की मेरे हाथ में है सर इसमें बहुत सारे तो बहुत मोटी बुक है लेकिन उसमें से थोड़ा सा पोर्शन पढ़ लेते और बाकी हम कहा सीखेंगे बेसिकली वी आर डिस्कसिंग फिलहाल इस लेक्चर के हवाले से अगर आपका कोई क्वेश्चन है ये पूछ ले ये वाला फिर जो है ये हम बाद में डिस्कस करते हैं आपको टाइम देंगे लेकिन फिलहाल इस क्लास के हवाले से ये जो हमने जो पढ़ा है इसके हवाले से कोई डिस्कशन आपकी है तो बता दे फिर ये बात तो करेंगे तो जनरल डिस्कशन में हो जाएगी बात नहीं है सर थैंक यू सर जी 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 सर रिटेनिंग वॉल से क्या मरा दे सही थोड़ा एक्सप्लेन कर रिटेनिंग वॉल हमारे जो ऐसे साइड वॉल ही होता है जो आरसीसी वॉल यू वुड हैव सीन बीआरटी बीआरटी तो देखी हुई है ना 